Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be dabbling in a little bit of Thomcraft and getting ourselves started. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, today I have built another platform out, exactly the same as all the other platforms, except for this one is going to be mainly for Thomcraft. And yeah, we're going to dive into Thomcraft today, but it requires a little bit of Batania to, in order to progress. So, let's go ahead and jump into this and get started. So, Thomcraft, not thermal, Thomcraft requires, to get started anyways, the crystals. These aura crystals, not not the, uh, or the, the, the vis crystals. And um, you honestly need these in order to do anything in Batania. You need all of the, I think, eight, or, or I think it's eight aspects, or maybe... Fewer than that. You're some of your base aspects here. Um, I'm trying to look for the actual crystals. There they are. So yeah, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven of them. Um, and we need to get these. As you can see, we get these through Content Tweaker. Yes, that's right. We get them through Content Tweaker. And it looks like later on we can... I don't know, break these down? It's some weird thing. I don't know what this is all about, but... Maybe that's something that's actually built into Thongcraft. But anyways, we need to work on this Rune of Balance in order to get started with Thongcraft. And the Rune of Balance is actually kind of cool. We can do two ways. We could either go the Terra Steel route, or we can go this route, which is, is a lot cheaper than Terra Steel. This way is more automatable. If you wanted to automate it, this you can automate the Runic Altar. It's just not that easy. Um, I mean, but you, you can totally do it. Um, but it looks like right here, we're going to need infused grass and mutated grass. To get mutated grass, well, we need both of these. Okay, so we need mutated grass. That's the main thing. So mutated grass comes from dirt surrounded by an eerie mask. An eerie mask is pretty easy to make in uh, Batania. We need mana string. So string is easy for us to obtain. And we also need gray powder. So... We might need to duplicate some of our gray petals uh, that we have with some bone mill just to get us a good, a good healthy stack of this stuff. And I think that will be more than enough for what we're going to be working on. Also, I did go ahead and kill this guy one more time, the guardian, um, and I got six more of the items I needed, and I also... Mainly because I was working on the uh, syringe. So I ended up getting the zombie 100%, the wither 100%, and a wither skeleton at 100% on here. Um, so the wither skeleton, that should be pretty easy for us to hopefully maintain, I think. Um, the skeleton itself, I'm still at 70%. I should have done more, but, you know, I did what I could do. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get these petals laid down. We have a huge area here. And we can go ahead and duplicate all of these. Or quadruple, <laughs> I guess it would be. Times four. And that should be good. So, shears. And we can just chop it all down. So, yeah, this is going to be the uh, <laughs> the small part. Of today's video. Um, but let's go ahead and get all of these. Yeah, as you can see now, it's a 64. I do want to go ahead and just do one more line of these. I think this will totally be worth it in the end. I think the only thing missing from this pack is is vein miner or excavator. <laughs> that would be really helpful. And there we go. That's two. All right, so I'm going to do just a stack for right now. So mortar. One stack. Throw those petals in there for later. And string. So we do have access to string. Like that. So I'm going to take all the string that we got and throw it in here. That'll give us a little bit of mana infused string. 
Awesome. We'll surround that by the gray right here. And we'll get ourselves a few masks. Perfect. All right, and we'll also grab some dirt while we're over here. All right. So let's get these guys in here. Surround that. And we'll just make as much of this as we can. It's looking good. That is a lot, actually. All right, and then this can be transfo uh, transformed like this. Now, I think I'm going to need Silk Touch or something to pick this up with. Unless... Yeah, that turns into dirt, so... I'm going to need some way to do that. And I can speed this up. That's This is not an issue. But like I said, this turns into dirt. So yeah, we're going to need some kind of silk touch. Hmm. Not going to be too hard, I don't think. Um, silk. Silk touch is a book with some glowstone in an arcane... Go back real quick. What does it require? Constantine, Enchanter, Enchantment Table. I think we can do this. I think we can. A Silky Jewel would be something that we can't get because we don't have Emerald yet. Okay. I just want to see if I can make this. We need two of these guys. Which these are easy to get. Just throw them on the ground. And sooner or later, they'll start shining. Alright, and then we need... Two blocks of lapis. Constant... I think we have some. Yeah. Perfect. One of these bad boys. And yeah, that should be perfect. And these should be ready to go. Let's go ahead and make ourselves an actual enchantment table. Oh, we need a book, don't we? Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure we have him, yeah. So let's get that one book made. I have leather now, so really I don't, I don't need string to make books. I should have another casing. Yes, I'm just missing my enchantment table. Perfect. All right. So there's our uh, arcane... What is that? Ins Insorcelator? Yeah. So that just needs a little bit of power. We need a book in here. We need a little bit of liquid experience, which I can probably get with a bucket. Just for right now. We really need to make more of this. There we go. We'll just fill this whole thing up with a bunch of bunch of experience. And then we're also going to need experience as well. I mean, I have 35 levels on me. That should be plenty to enchant a pick or a shovel with Silk Touch. Probably shovel. All right. So, this guy has some power. We need a book. We can go this route. Was it a regular book? I think it was. Regular book and glowstone. Right? There it goes. So this takes a little bit of time. But we can kind of speed things up a little bit. With an acceleration wand. It does seem to use a bit of power, maybe. Can't tell if it's just it can't keep up. And there's our silk touch. Awesome. I do have an anvil somewhere. I think that anvil has disappeared. There it is. 
And let's go ahead and add this to a shovel, a diamond shovel. Perfect. And if we need to make one later on, we can. But for right now, this will work perfect. And look at that. I think the only other thing that would be really good to use would have been this wand core, but we haven't made blaze rods yet. So later on, it'd be easier to do that using the swapping wand. It would be to do what we just did. So yeah, we can get this going. We can speed this up. Collect a few of these. And then get started into some early basics of Thawncraft. I think that's going to be super fun. All right, so what do we have? 32. I think we might do one more set. We'll get 64 of each. So we need two more of these. But this is just what you have to do <laughs> to go through this part. At least we can acceleration one. That makes it a lot faster. All right, that's 64 and we have 64. Awesome. Now, remember before, what we needed to do was to place it in here. We also need our wand. Because we need to point the, or make sure they're pointing, which they are. Um, and last but not least, we just need to place it in there. Like that. And we need to make sure we have some stone. Some living rock. Otherwise this won't work, because we have to use that to complete it, correct? Yes. Alright. And yeah, this is just the steps we're going to have to go through in order to get this to produce. But it looks like it gives us two apiece that way. We could also do it the other way. And then it says to throw it in here. And doing that, we get all of these crystals. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I do know there's more than that. Okay, so here, here it is. Here's our seventh. So yes, we do get all seven. We even get the flux crystal. So that's, that's pretty good, actually. It's not too bad. We get uh, pretty much one per set. And that doesn't, I mean, it doesn't take really that long. And we also can make this this way, which is still going to require living rock. The problem is, is it's going to require terrestrial nuggets, which are probably the equivalent in mana cost to what we're doing now. It's just that if you have the mana storage like we have, making Terra Steel is not that hard. So maybe making that many crystals is actually not that big a deal. Right? Isn't that showing how it's made? Other way around. So there's 38. So I think that'll be fine for right now. If we need more later, of course we can we can do it, but we're also going to need to break these, so uh, we don't want to go too crazy. But we threw those in there, we just kind of have to wait for them to build up. And we should be pretty good. We have almost 64 piece of all those. Um, I would say we're doing pretty good. Now, we do need to break these. <laughs> and we need a good way to do that. Uh, we need to place it on some kind of stone like that, and then they need to be broken. So, yeah, in order to do that, plus we also need to make a bed because we need to sleep. Um, otherwise, we won't be able to get the moon, uh, the Salus Mundus book that tells us how to make Salus Mundus, which is actually not that hard to make. Um, 
Or we just place all these down manually. Hmm. There is a, a way. Let's see. There is a constructor and a deconstructor. These two things should work if we tell them what to put in here. So cable. And if we replace this with say a piece of stone, this is fine. I think this will place. So if we put a constructor here, that needs to go. Oh, it needs to be out one. It needs to be out one more. So we're gonna need a block to probably place it on. So destructor and a constructor, just like that. This one, we need to tell it what to construct. And there we go. So that'll do it for us. Um, speed upgrades. How much sugar do we have? Oh, not that much. Be enough for us to make some speed upgrades, though. All right, and more speed upgrades. What are we missing? Quartz enriched? <laughs> of course we are. So we need some silver and iron again. That should get us enough for right now. Two. Get a bit more, we can call it a day. All right. So what we can say is now, I want this in here. <laughs> and that goes really fast now. So we don't have to worry about this anymore. Ah, you gotta love some simple automation. That just makes your life way easier. Very, very nice. <laughs> I tried to, you know, I tried to do this with Applied Energistics, and I've not actually succeeded with it doing it with Applied Energistics. It's a lot harder to set this kind of stuff up. With it applied energistics, you, I think you can actually make this bigger where you can tell it more items, I think. If you use a different card. I mean, for what it is, it's not that, not that bad. There are earth in there. Because, like, these don't really have any uses. Well, I guess we could have... You know what? Oh, man. I should have done that. The Pulverizer actually gives us twice as many and gives us Salus Mundus. Guys. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Still, this is the fastest way to do it. By far. By far the fastest way. At least we have some so we can go ahead and make Salus Mundus. And we don't have to wait for Salus Mundus. Okay. So, we have all of that done. <laughs> And now we can actually really start to push into Thomcraft, but it's, it's kind of nice we do get Salus Mundus that way. Okay. 
Bellumcraft. Uh, we need a bookshelf, actually. Which means we need some books. Let's make a bookshelf. I don't know if we have to sleep once. But let's make a bed real quick. I think we just have to lay in the bed. No, oh, we don't have string. That's a bummer. I don't know. We'll see. So all you can do, throw this here. Yeah, I think you have to sleep first. I think you do. Man. All right. Let's just place block here. And yeah, we'll we'll figure this out. We're supposed to be able to um, throw this on it, but as you can see, it's not exactly wanting to work for us. Um, that's because we're going to need some string. Don't I have a way of getting string? I don't. Hemp, I think, is the best way to get string. And that's what I've been lacking on. Or we could actually use flax. These, these seats are way better. There we go. We can double up on that. That's sure to give us enough to get a bed. Let me turn that off. All right, let's get a bed made. <laughs> That's all we got to do. Bed. Now. Done. So I should be able to just place it somewhere and wait till it's nighttime and uh, sleep. Ah, uh, isn't it nice to just watch the sunset as you see all your machinery at work doing its thing? Man, that's nice. Uh, but anyways, we need to sleep. That is a definite. So we got the advancement Sweet Dreams, and we should also wake up. It says, you've awoken from a strange dream. You quickly write it down before the memory fades. And we got a book. So as I had the strange dream last night, in the dream I took three of those strange crystals I've been finding on the ground with a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint. And made Salus Mundus. This stuff. Um, which, it doesn't tell you exactly how to make it, but it looks like we can make it with lavender quartz. Which, lavender quartz is really easy to make. You throw, or you used to be able to throw quartz in there, but I guess you can make it with dye. With mana quartz and some magenta dye. And we could easily make Salus Mundus. We don't have to craft it the old-fashioned way, which is kind of a pain. But I think, unless we have to manually craft Salus Mundus, I think we can use it now. Yes. And, ta-da, we got the Thaumonomicon. So, first steps. We need to make an arcane bench. That is the first step. And here's the actual recipe for making Salus Mundus. So you can see here, I think it's a shapeless recipe, so you don't have to place it in this order, but it can be in any order. Um, but that works. Um, so we have that. It talks about types of knowledge. We have observation knowledge right here. Observations and theories. Observations are things that we're going to scan. Theories are things we're going to research. Um, so I've done my fair bit of learning of Thomcraft. I think I am going to be okay at it. It looks pretty easy. Um, and it's actually a lot easier than it used to be. So in order to get started, we don't need too much. Like I said, we just need that research table or that, that table. So let's go ahead and see what we need to make that. So um, it tells us right here that we need to make an arcane workbench. This, this bad boy. Um, and I'm pretty sure this thing is a crafting table. Like so, and you throw some Salus Mundus on it. And voila, we have an arcane workbench. And that is also reflected over here, so we can actually tell it that we're done, and it knows that we've made it, and bam, it tells us to work on making a thaumometer, in which we're going to use 
very, very soon. So we're going to push for this even more. Let's actually take a look over here. It also tells us we need to make a research table inscribing tools as well, and then shows us over here how those are made. So vial, feather, we need some black dye or black pigment or floral powder. It doesn't really matter. And we also need to make a workbench. So we can also make those as well. So a workbench, if I can get it to pull up, maybe it won't. There it is. A work table, not a bench. Looks like we need some wood and some slabs. And voila, we have a work table. All right, so we're also gonna need a few other things. We have our work table. Let's go and get that done. We need a thermometer, which we're gonna need gold. Four pieces. We're gonna need to get rid of all of the stuff that we have in our inventory that is useless at the moment. I'm confused about this. What? Where's all my crystals? Did that just not work? When we did it earlier? Oh no. Please tell me that did not just delete all of our crystals. I almost guarantee it did. Man, that sucks. <laughs> a lot. Okay, so, um, Terra, let's just break you down into a couple pieces. We need to leave some because we're going to need some later. And I guess we're going to do this again. Living Rock and. Content Weaver? Does it label it as... Yeah, it does. Flip these around. That'll give us 26. Bummer, man. So I guess these all have to be put through a pulverizer in order for it to be automated. Otherwise, it just won't Will work. So we do need a, just a couple of each aspect, and then I'll get them all piped in here. There's Ordo. Some Prodigio. So I went ahead and just did them all, and uh, that'll allow us now to put them inside here, leaving everything but this one, uh, the Vidium, which is actually the uh, the Flux stuff and then we need to actually go ahead and make our lens you can see right here there's 200 vis available and we, we're going to use 20 vis and whenever we craft this it's actually going to draw vis as you can see right here from the chunk at which it's in and all the uh, chunks that are around it are going to kind of now bleed into this chunk to try and refill that vis number the other chunks around it are going to slowly lose it but all the chunks will over time regain their vis value now that we have our thermometer, well, we can actually do something with it. Um, let's scan some grass. If it highlights like this, it means you haven't scanned it. So you can see something, you've learned something new. Uh, nothing can be learned from this. So it'll tell you if there's mods and stuff that you can't learn stuff from. It'll let you know, nothing new can be learned from this. Um, we can probably scan this if we're farther, far enough away. Um, we can probably scan this. If I'm far enough away. We can even scan items. As you can see. Oh, and we just unlocked some stuff. So we have tons of stuff here that we could probably scan to learn from. Stone. If you hold shift, you can actually learn from it. So you can see things like that. Like this. All kinds of stuff. Torches. 
Um, let's see, what else do we have? We have all these pipings and things like that. That we can probably learn things from. Look at that. We're learning all kinds of different things. And all of these help later on down the road. There's a chest. Um, items, specific items will help us learn. So if I throw the wool down and learn that. I don't think the thing is set up so you can scan inside your inventory, so you'll have to definitely take advantage of scanning things in the world. Sugar cane, different crops are a thing. So yeah, just over time you'll just scan things and you're going to start learning new research. And it shows up in our Thalmanomicon. So you can see here, these steps are now completed. Whenever we complete that, we unlock new tabs. So we have things talking about arcane stone. We have some knowledge here. This right here is our uh, knowledge uh, table right here that we're learning. Everything that we see right here is just knowledge of observation. You can see right here, this is observation alchemy. We do have two that's learned. Observation on um, aromancy or oromancy. Uh, fundamentals. We have one in pretty much all of those. I mean, we're going to learn more as we scan more things. And yeah, that's that's pretty much what we need to know. And you see right here, discovering alchemy. That's what we need to get to. <laughs> so we have the crucible. So this is going to require a crucible. So some iron. To make a crucible or a cauldron. Uh, we're also going to need some... Another rack. I know where some's at. Can't believe it is so dark on us. We probably need to sleep. Normally I have the world set to eternal day, but we needed to uh, change that for this. Let's go ahead. Let me see. Over here is where it's at. Piece of nether rack. That's all we really need for this. Okay. So I'll be back once it's daytime. So what you need to do whenever you go to set this cauldron down is you need to place nether rack slightly below it. And then what we can do, I'll go ahead and break this for right now. Take our cauldron. We're going to hit that with some Salus Mundus. Gotta love that animation. Bam, and now we have a crucible. That crucible is going to need to be lit, so we need flint and tinder, or flint and steel, whatever you want to call it. Bam, light that up. And then we're going to need some water. <laughs> a bunch of water. Come on. Sometimes it doesn't work in my flight messes up. All right, so let's grab some water. Bucket. We're going to need to make a infinite source of water near us. We can do that pretty easy with some slabs. Grab that. Perfect. And we'll set up our slabs for our infinite pool of water. And voila. We're done. So now that we have this, we can actually pull out a bucket of water and place it in here. And uh, this is going to be talking to us a little bit about this. We can complete that. And now it's telling us we need 10 Ignis, 10 Lux, and 10 Potentia to make Yellow Niter. This is going to kind of push us forward in learning more knowledge about the Crucible. Right now we can fully use the Crucible. There's no need to even worry about that. But that is something that we can definitely do. And I do know a few things give us that. So, Torch... Because if we read our book here, it tells us the ingredients. And glowstone is the catalyst. It is going to go in here after we have all of these items in. So 10 Ignis, 10 Lux, and 10 Potentia. So right here, this gives us Potentia and 10 Lux. This gives us five, and then also gives us a little bit of extra that we don't... It gives us Bestia, I think is what it's called, which we don't really need, but you'll see that that will dissipate as we do this. 
So we'll need two of those, two torches, one of these, and that will make exactly what we need, and glowstone. So if we stand here and we throw that in there, we throw our coal, we throw our two torches, we throw our glowstone, bam, we got niter, but there's a little bit in here, a little bit extra aspects that I would like to disappear. If we did, I would just shift click here and it would just dissipate, as you can see. And then we just refill it and we have a full cauldron or a crucible. Now we can get rid of this fire noise by simply just placing the, the niter that we got, which is a light source underneath here. And then bam, I'm sure a lot of people that have played with this mod already know that that exists. And there we go. And now we have a crucible. But the one thing that I want to get that we're, we're doing this whole thing for is I want to get blaze rods. Blaze rods is a stick with igneous. So stick and stuff that gives us igneous, which we can see that by holding shift over a specific item. Um, or we can search up the actual aspect. Uh, Thumbcraft, and we can actually see the the aspects here. Igneous, and we can kind of look through here and see what gives us igneous. And some of the, the smaller items are, of course, down on this end. But you can see that there's not many that just give us just igneous. But we need to find something that does. Now, we know coal gives us igneous, but it also gives us tin potentia as well. So we want something that just gives us very little of the aspect. Looks like tiny coal gives us one. Kind of going through here just to kind of see what else we can find. Wood, I think, gives us terra more than igneous. Oh, we can make igneous vis crystals. These are things that we can make. But Or we could be stuck with a little bit of void, which we could do. Or... We can take quartz and we can make quartz slivers. So take some quartz and we can actually, instead of creating a huge mess, we take some coal. We already have some coal and let's kind of get this, this set up. So these slivers, I'll show you exactly what they'll do. They'll clean up our mess in our cauldron for us. Um, so we remember that five is what we were needing for this. Four. We need four igneous. That gives us ten. So four of these would be forty. Which would mean we need ten sticks. And the rest we should be able to clean up with this. So we throw that in. Then we throw our sticks in. Well, in theory, doesn't seem like that's working. And there just went a lot of nastiness right there. That was not what I wanted it to do. So do I need to specifically... I guess it's, it's when it's only a specific item? I don't know. I guess it is. I guess it's only needing... No, it should totally work for this. If I throw that in there. That stick should be my catalyst, but it's not working. That's not good. I do notice I'm not seeing my aspects either. I wonder if it's just because I haven't learned the aspect yet. Bummer. All right, let's take a look at our Thaumonomicon. We'll see that we haven't researched. Maybe we just haven't researched it yet. 
which is understandable. We may have to get to that point. So just real quick, right here at the end of the video, I do want to kind of explain what has happened. Um, so I, I needed to basically accept my, my conditions here. And uh, then I got the alchemy tab opened up right here. And all I had to do was click here and that allowed me to progress basically because I have a little bit of experience right here with the knowledge tools right here. I have 10 observation alchemy and that is what's allowing me to complete these right here. It says you have not learned this, but if you accept the basic alchemy, you're able to then fully use this thing. And I want to kind of show you here. Uh, let me go ahead and drain it because we, I want it to be full. And you can see I have blaze rods because I did test it out. So let me go ahead and throw this in here, let the water boil. And I'll show you that earlier, what I was trying to do will actually work this time. And then I'm going to throw my, my uh, quartz in here in order to get everything I need out of this. So what you need to do is let's take a look at their sticks. You can see right here, right here, we need four. So technically I need four of those to make that an even number, four sticks or 10 sticks should get everything I need out of that. So I throw all of that in there. That's 40. That will give me that. It'll give me 40 of those. So if I throw that in there, we're out of water. It's still in there. I just need to throw the rest of that in there. Bam. And we don't end up with anything lost. And as you can see, we end up with potentia crystals. This quartz stuff basically takes our leftovers, which is really nice and gives us everything we need. Now, what you can do is you can actually pipe in water to this. And I think that'll allow you to pretty much uh, pull all the stuff out a lot easier. But as you can see, guys, we have blaze rods. And that was like one of our last steps before getting into some really cool things. But yeah, blaze rods was definitely something we needed and we've got them. So yeah, pretty cool. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. You can also give this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.